and welcome back to the Northridge 4x4 Do-It-Yourself Garage, where we show you how to do it yourself. Now today, we're going to do something that some people will think is a little basic. But after we did the Grim Off-Road Heavy Duty Replacement Bull Kit, we had requests coming in. How do I safely put my Jeep on four jack stands? It's only going to take a couple minutes, so we're going to show you how to do that, and then we can get back to building the Giveaway Wrangler. Now for tools, you're going to need four jack stands and a floor jack. And make sure that you're using properly sized equipment for the job. So don't use little automotive pieces, get something that's for a pickup truck. We're using six ton jack stands and a three ton jack. And that's going to help us do this job a lot easier and safer. And we're going to start at the back of the vehicle. and figure out how high you want to go. Make sure that you're using the exact same number of teeth on either side. So we've got three teeth up on both jack stands. Now the Jeep has a centered rear differential and yeah, it's offset a little bit, but for the most part, it's centered. Slide your jack under and just start lifting. Now we're gonna slide our jack stands in and get them ready. Now, as you can see, we need to go a little bit higher. And once you're high enough, slide a jack stand in. You wanna go wide on your jack stands, but you also wanna make sure that you have access to whatever you're working on. So for the Grim Bolt Kit, you wanna make sure that you'll be able to get your tools in to pull these bolts in and out. You also want to make sure that you're not going to hang up on any brackets. Now we can just very carefully release your jack. So you can see here that axle sitting more on this side of the saddle. We want to get it centered up. So let's just lift it a little bit. All right, now we can move to the front. We're going to slide in underneath the pumpkin. Now we're just going to go up one tooth on this jack stand. And we're going to lower it down. All right, now we're going to move that up to two notches. Then we're going to set our jack down. And now we can move back to the center pumpkin. We're going to go up to our three notches to match the back. Now we're going to go back to the other side. And we can bring this one up a third notch. Now, once you get that floor jack out of the way, give your rig a good solid shake and make sure it is steady on those jack stands. And this is a way that you do it properly. You're gonna lift it just a little bit at a time, moving those jack stands up a notch at a time. And you can even do this for the rear. If you're not comfortable lifting just at the center of the rear pumpkin, you can lift one side, get a jack stand in. Lift the other side, get a jack stand in and then go up a click at a time until you get to your desired height. Now, what if you wanted to install a suspension lift? You'll wanna put the jack stands underneath the frame, not underneath the axle. Then you're gonna use a floor jack under the axle to raise and lower that axle to get the best position for removing and installing your parts. Now, for the front axle and the rear axle, we're gonna to wanna to put our jack stands right near the lower control arm brackets on the frame. Let's show you. So we're gonna start just like we do with the axles. Now right back here under the frame, we have two places we can put our jacks in. We can put it right behind this cross member, or you can put it right in front of the cross member and it'll kind of lock itself between these two brackets. So we wanna check our height. Now 
Now for the other side, we're gonna to wanna to go up those first two clicks, and then let's add two more clicks. All right, now we're gonna set her down. Pull our jack stand out and go up those matching two clicks that we did on the other side. And now we can lower that side down onto the jack stands. Now if you need more height, you're just gonna do the same thing. Lift one side, go up a click, maybe two. Lift the other side, go up a click, maybe two to match. And then we're gonna leave the floor jack underneath the front axle. You'll wanna pull your tires off and then you're ready to start disassembling your suspension. And you'll use the floor jack to lift the axle up or down to pull out the shock bolts, to pull out the uh, sway bar links, etc., until you can lower the axle far enough down to remove your springs. Now that's just the front. For the rear, it's pretty much the same. Let's show you where you're gonna wanna put your jack stands. And we're gonna put our jack stands right on the frame in front of the lower control arm brackets. This is a nice sturdy point to have our jack stands at, and it allows you good access all around the rear suspension. So now when it comes time to putting your vehicle back on the ground, you're just going to lower it one step at a time, just like we raised it. Now hopefully you've installed a lift, bigger wheels and tires, and now you don't have as far to set it down. But that's it. Yes, it's simple, but not everybody has access to a two post lift like we show in most of our videos. So put your Jeep up on jack stands and then use an, a floor jack to manipulate that axle up or down to get the heights you need to install the bolts in the right places. So thanks for watching our little tech video. We'll see you in the next one.